Welcome! Today we're going to talk about this lovely 2021 Infiniti QX50 Lux all-wheel drive. This features a snazzy appearance package, which really does it give it a visual upgrade for a reasonable amount of money. Uh, it really has a nice look on the outside of this upgraded wheel and tire package and a few other things. We have the original build sheet right here. Uh, 21 QX50 Lux all-wheel drive. We have a lot of standard equipment for 2021 in the QX50. The appearance package was $1,200. It gives you a 20 inch black painted machine finished wheels, uh, black outside mirrors, uh, heated outside mirrors, black grill mesh, dark chrome front grill surround, dark chrome front fender accents, uh, dark chrome tailgate finisher, and body color rear diffuser, as well as a graphite headliner. Uh, so yeah, I mean for $1,200, I think uh, just on the wheels alone uh, is a really nice big visual upgrade versus a smaller wheel and tire package that you normally get on the Lux uh, QX50. The QX50 uh, Lux is a compact luxury crossover, one of our uh, better selling vehicles on the new and pre-owned side for very good reason. Crossovers are very popular in the US market right now. More people are buying crossover SUVs than anything else uh, because they're built like cars, they're built on unibody car based architecture, but they have a higher, you know, higher up commanding view of the road, more cargo space, a little bit more practicality than a sedan or a coupe. Well, a lot more than a coupe for sure. This one has a nice synthetic leather interior, uh, big uh, panoramic roof to allow lots of natural light inside. You have a power sunshade to dim things down. If it gets too bright out, but we'll leave that open. And then of course this opens. It's so gonna be a beautiful day today. You get plenty of fresh air with that big roof panel. Uh, nice synthetic leather and stitching on the dashboard as well. Uh, 2021 is a great year for the QX50 because in 2020 they upgraded the uh, top and bottom display. That's a crisper, higher, resolu higher resolution display for both of them. The top screen is for parking camera. And even this, though this one does not have navigation, um, you can have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which was also a uh, upgrade for 2020. I know a lot of people liked it or like it. Uh, so even though this one does not have navigation, you can have navigation on your phone and project it right up there on the screen. The bottom screen is a tablet-like interface for vehicle settings and apps. We have a uh, driver's assistance. We have VDC that ties the traction and stability control system together into one system. We have lane departure warning and lane departure intervention. We have steering assist. We have distance control assist, which will encourage you to slow down to fast approaching traffic. We have blind spot warning and blind spot intervention. And we have forward and backward emergency braking. Then we have a drive mode selector. So there's a couple ways to access it. You can, you can uh, get uh, some presets here. There's four, there's Eco, Standard, Sport, and Personal. Or if you want to drill down a little bit deeper, you can access it here and personalize it even more. You can make individual changes to the engine and transmission. You can make individual changes to the steering effort. Active Trace Control brakes individual wheels to help the vehicle rotate better through the corners. You can shut that system on or off. Active Engine Braking. Active Engine Braking is a natural tendency, well, engine braking is a natural tendency for a vehicle to slow down when you remove your foot off the gas or you downshift into a lower gear also known as compression braking. This has a variable compression engine, so we have active engine braking. Uh, so how could uh, engine braking benefit you? Well, if you're going down a steep grade, like you're going over the mountain pass and you're going down a steep grade, you don't want to constantly be riding your brake because that can overheat the brakes, cause them to warp, cause them to even fail and overheat, which is not a good thing. Or, but in general, you don't want to go through your brakes too fast. So using that engine braking going down a steep grade is very helpful. Likewise, if you're driving like in snowy, slippery weather, if you're going down a steep hill, even with uh, you know anti-lock brakes, sometimes cars can be initiated into a slide even with the touchest, uh, you know, touch, the gentlest touch of the brakes. So using the engine braking to maintain a safe uh, speed down a uh, grade on slippery or icy roads can be a safer proposition than using the actual brakes. We have dual zone auto climate control, a uh, nice leather up steering wheel. This one has 38,880 miles. We have a whole suite of safety and technology. Uh, the ProPilot Assist, as we mentioned in the driver's assistance features, we have a steering assist, which will help you keep your centered in lane on the highway, and it will also follow gentle bends. And we also have adaptive cruise control that will go all the way down to a complete stop. So that will make your life so much easier driving and stop and go traffic on the highway. If you're a highway commuter, it's a must have feature these days to have a vehicle with these uh, new ADAS systems. ADAS stands for Advanced Driver's Assistance. Beautiful color combination and black on black. Uh, the QX50 features a beautiful curvaceous body. Infinity went to great lengths 
to make this thing look as pretty as possible. When we're dealing with these crosshair SUVs, it's kind of like a jelly bean or egg shape on wheels. But Infiniti really wanted to make this look good, and I think they definitely achieved their goals. The front end styling, uh, you know, is very reminiscent of the Infiniti family, specifically the Q50 sedan and Q60 coupe, which are two of some of the most beautiful vehicles on the road, in my opinion. We have pioneering technology for the engine. Infiniti worked on this variable compression engine technology for 20 years. It can mechanically change the compression ratio on the fly depending on the way you're driving. So the engine can change depending on what type of driving you're doing. So if you're kind of doing easy does it driving, you don't need full power. Uh, the engine will give you a 14 to one compression ratio, which will calibrate the engine for maximum fuel efficiency. But maybe you're getting more aggressive on the throttle, you're doing some performance driving, well the car can tell, and it will quickly change its compression ratio to an 8 to 1 compression ratio, which will calibrate the engine for maximum power. 268 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque. Nice comfortable accommodations in the rear seats, even though it's a compact, it doesn't feel too compact on the inside. The uh, rear, seats, they, rear seats, they slide back and forth and they also recline. Of course we have a uh, power rear, rear lift gate. Lots of cargo space back here and you can fold down those seats for even more cargo space. You have these handles right here to fold them down. A little extra storage under there and a tow hook in case you need to get pulled out of a ditch. Hopefully that never happens. <laughs> nice styling on the rear. We kind of have these uh, trap trapezoidal uh, exhaust outlets. Beautiful luxury crossover. Thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully see you soon and have a wonderful day.